All right, what's going on, guys? Another draft video. Today, we're doing UNC slot wide receiver Daz Newsom. Before we get into it, make sure to like, subscribe, all that bull crap. Do it. Do it. Just freaking do it. Wide receiver for UNC. He's 5'11", 190 pounds. That's what the roster says. I'm sure once he gets official, you know, measurements, whether it's at the pro day or whatever, it'll probably be like 5'10". Uh, senior year, had 54 catches, 684 yards, 6 touchdowns, 12.7 yards per catch. His junior year. 72 catches, over 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, 14.1 yards per catch. So he is a true slot receiver. That's what he plays at UNC. But he's also he also has like a deep threat to him. You know, like he can attack on all three levels. You know, the short, uh, medium, intermediate. I don't think he's going to be blazing past guys in the NFL. But he, but you do have to respect it. Um, he's got good hands and ball skills. Um, I want he, he didn't see this at UNC a ton. Um, because, you know, you have, a, you know, the running backs that, you know, UNC has a QB and Sam Howell, a wide receiver in De'Ami Brown, that you didn't see um, corners get physical from the line of scrimmage. That's my worry is how is he going to deal with that in the NFL level? Because he's going to get that. He's going to get that. Uh, I think he's got good agility um, in his route running when he really, when he really like puts focus into his routes, he, he does good stuff. I actually think he's a lot like Sterling Shepard. I mean, he's got return skills, so. Um, these plays are in chronological order, you know, so, you know, sometimes I do like each type of route running this one there. Uh, we're just going in chronological order. So play one. Just an RPO slant. Attacking vertically, getting this corner to like, you know, somewhat bail. Hit the slant. Good hands. Again, this isn't the craziest thing, but it's it's a it's a it's a good catch for Daz. Next play. Again, he's got you know he's got six yards of cushion. Goes that go ball or go route. Stutters. Stutters when you know when he gets to this corner, and the corner plays it well. Like this corner can't play it much better, but he's still able to get that step. You know he's not able to stack him or get in front of him, but he's able to get that next step where that ball gets put on him well. You know he, he has himself a touchdown. Here it's just an out route. They're playing off of him. This is a this is a catch. So I wanted to throw it in there. Nothing special. But again, getting these, you know, I know it's, it's part of their, you know, the Florida State scheme, but getting these corners to backpedal, bam, hitting that route, got to make the catch. We got him, sorry, we got him down, down here. Now this next play, this is what I like out of him. And this is where I see like some Sterling Shepard like um, comp. These whip routes. Now they're they're not playing him tight or anything like in man coverage, but you can just see the routes. Sells, I mean, sells that slant to where you know this corner is not playing down. Like I think that's where he's going to make his money in the NFL is these underneath quick routes. Come down here. Just a great slant on this one. I mean, watch him turn this corner around. Watch him sell deep. Gets outside leverage. So he sells deep. And as soon as... I mean, that corner's got his hips turned. Ready to go in that deep ball. And just turns him around. That's a lot of separation for a slant route. That's a lot of separation for a slant route. Because he does have to be respected deep. Now, in the NFL, you know, he's not going to get that much respect. But still showing off, showing off what he can do. Got a little stick and nod here. It's a red zone target. Does a good job, but they're bracketing him down here. We're basically, you know, double teaming. We got these two. But not a not a great ball put on him by Howell either. But Howell puts that ball on him. He you know 
He's got to score with du- you know double coverage in the red zone in the end zone. You put you put a little bit of a better ball, but that's that's asking a lot out of the QB. But just showing that like you know in the red zone, they're you know they're double teaming this guy. Got him down here. Ten yard curl, that's good space. Again, and especially you know this is you know I'm more Giants focused. On a team that runs a lot of curls. Get in his break. And then what I like the most out of it is not just making his break, turning around, sitting right here, coming back, running back towards the ball. Running back towards the ball. This may be like the worst route he ran all game to me. On this post post corner, I just feel like he could have broke this out cleaner. Cause I mean, look at this look at this space. And he, he like he you know he brings the coverage into himself. Where I think if if he breaks this out you know here instead of here, he's wide open. You know, now that ball is, is a timing route where you kind of have to be where the QB expects you to be. You, know, you didn't get the ball thrown away anyways, but I still thought that could have been better. Got him down here at the bottom of the screen. Gets wide open on this one. I mean, he... That should be a touchdown. This should be a touchdown for Daz Newsom. Just gives a little stutter. Gets this corner to open his hips. Gets outside. Get this corner to open his hips. And then, bam, breaks inside. Gets that inside leverage. And, I mean, that's a huge win. That's how you get those deep balls from the slot position in the NFL. And when they're playing this off coverage, you know, playing a man with a one safety high and a safety bail over here, this is how you get those deep touchdowns out in the slot in the NFL. He gets to open his hips and then break right back in. And he's wide open. Wide open. And he actually catches this ball. You'll see. We'll see it better from the other view. But Sam Howell's back here <laughs> dealing with pressure. Gets the ball out. So he tracks the ball really well, too. Keeps the space from the corner. Catches it. But he's out of bounds at that point. But he's out of bounds. But that should be it. That should be you know. Let's let's go back and look at the yards. That should be a fifty-yard Daz Newsom touchdown against FSU. And instead, it's just a, it's just an incompletion. It's an incompletion. But I mean, he, that that's that's how you get those big plays in the in the NFL. And that's why in the NFL, I do think he is somewhat of a deep threat from the slot spot. Just here we got him down here or up here. Got him up here. Got that off coverage. They're trying to force him that break. Balls in his hands. So that's it from the FSU game. Let's look at Duke now. Got him down here in the slot. Now this, <laughs> this play, you got the off coverage. And this isn't, this isn't like, this is what this guy's going to do in the NFL. Like, that's not what this is, but it's still nuts. This is nuts. Catches the ball behind his back. So they're playing the off coverage. He's getting outside. And look how he catches this ball. Just be just behind the back. So this isn't like, oh, he's gonna do this at the NFL level. But it's still amazing. Like that's still an amazing play for Daz. Here. I mean, he's got six yards of cushion and just burns this corner. Again. This ball gets handed off. But this is and this is how, you know, you can get these type of wins and uh on a team where you're running the ball well and you get this safety crashing down, or if it's 
or if they're playing a cover four and the safety plays up, this is how you get those deep touchdowns from the slot position in the NFL. Shows inside, just quick. I mean, you could barely notice that he shows that inside. Bam, bam. And then just showing off his speed. Got him down here. On a curl. This little stutter. This little stutter. Sorry, let me get back to it. This little stutter right here. That little, that little skip step. Usually means I'm trying to set you up. I'm trying to break you down to think I'm doing a slant or an out or a curl to get deep. To get deep. Because of that, the corner bails. The corner bails. And just sets him up beautifully on this curl route. I mean, look at where he's curling and look at this corner. I mean, that's a beautiful setup on that. Again, you see it? What we've seen in these other Waters here videos we've done. Usually that right there means I am working my way to get downfield. Sells it. Curl route. Open. The ball doesn't go to him, though. Got him up here. Just that whip route I was talking about. Ball gets tipped. Gets the corner here. Out. I mean, the ball out's here. That's a nice catch. Maybe even some yak for the kid. On this curl out, sits on it. This isn't the greatest one, but he does make a catch off of it. This is the only view you could get from this angle. But he does make he does make the catch from it, so. We got him um, down the bottom in the slot. Just abuses this corner. He's able to stack him, which means to basically get in front of him. Again, that little stutter right there. Trying to set him up. Corner turns his hips. He's able to get past him. It's in front of him. And the ball's not thrown great, but he's able to still make that catch and gets in for a touchdown. We'll see it from this angle. Can't really see the ball coming in. But he's got tight coverage. Which, by the way, here, let me show you something. I know he falls for the fake on this, but I like that kid, Chris Rumpf. I like him. And then we'll show one more go route. This one's just speed. <laughs> I mean, that's wide open. Doesn't get the ball thrown his way. So Daz Newsom, I like him. Um, you know, he's not someone I'm banging on the table of like this guy needs to be taken, you know, higher than where he's projected. But I do think he's a good player who can. He's going to play in the slot. You know, he's not going to play outside, and I, I think can be a successful wide receiver for for a team, especially a team that you know may need some slot, you know, slot help. Um, you know, I think he could start year one in the slot. I think he'd be better off his depth to start. But I think Daz Newsom's a good player that if your team gets them, you should be really happy about. So again, make sure to like, subscribe to all the stuff. I have a bunch of stuff coming out. Appreciate it. Check out the playlist. Bam. See you next time.